Hi, this is Sherry with Freedom in a Can. And we installed this ice co cooler about two months ago and we thought we'd check back in and let y'all know what we think of it. Now we had been looking for a cold food store solution for years and everything that we had found previously was either not powerful enough or flat out too expensive. So when we came across this VL45, we were pretty excited about it. It is sturdy, it is well built, it is super easy to clean with these baskets that just lift out of here and it can run easily on solar. It has this nice slim design and it's small. So it fits into a space where we have a lot of other stuff. This is our garage because we live on the road. So the truck, the back of the truck is our garage as well. Also, it's going to get bumped around back here. So it's got these nice corner protectors. And also my favorite feature, I think, are these slimline handles. No big molded handles. You can maximize the space on either side of the cooler. It has these latches to keep the lid closed during travel. And don't take this for granted, a lid that stays open when you open it. So if you've just come across this video and you're wondering how we're running this 12 volt cooler, we're gonna refer you to our installation video in the description below. But here is the short version. We have a Renogy dual input DC to DC charger, and that is pulling a charge off of our starting battery while we're driving, and it is charging a 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And when we are somewhere for a few days and the temperatures are higher um, and we need to put some more power back into that battery, we can attach a portable solar panel. It's that simple. We've been pretty impressed with the efficiency of this cooler. Uh, we've been able to run it on the minimum compressor speed and it easily keeps it at a temperature between 43 and 48, which is perfect for us because we're vegetarians. A couple of times we've bumped it up to the maximum and that's just to cool some food or drink down really quickly. Now, if you're looking to store meat or freeze something, of course, you can bump that temperature down to whatever you need it to be. And we've been able to run it on high battery protection. So that's gonna keep our lithium iron phosphate battery safe and keep it in a, a good range for the battery itself. In addition to being thrilled with the cooler, we love how the Renogy dual input DC to DC charger is functioning. It is keeping our battery operating mainly between 13.2 and 13.4 on the lithium battery, which is perfect because that's between 70% and 99% charge on the battery. And just a short drive to the grocery store or into town seems to pump that battery back up to 14.4. It's kind of amazing how well it is working. So we have been running this fridge for about 24 seven for two months. And I think we've only needed to add the portable panel three times and that has been in times where we have been in a space for more than three days, haven't been running the car and the temperatures have been a little bit higher and it works great. It pushes that battery back up to 14.4 in just a couple of hours. Now we store this inside of a truck bed cover with tinted windows on it. So we have not needed the additional insulator for the cooler to keep it at you know that 43 to 48 degrees. But if you're in a different situation or you have the cooler out in the sun, uh, Iceco does sell an insulator that goes over it uh, just for some additional protection. So if you live in a van, motorhome, or any sort of RV, and you need a good cold food storage solution, this is a great one. And if you want to get a discount on Renogy or Iceco, just use our affiliate links below and our promo code CANLIFE. We'll see you on the road.